Hey guys, Middle Age Gamer here. I'm going to show you guys how to make a awesome custom thumbnail for your YouTube video and whether you're a developer, gamer, artist, what have you, this is definitely going to give you more views on all of your videos. So let's go ahead and get into Photoshop is the first software piece that you're going to need. And let's see if I can find it here. There we go, Photoshop. And then what we're going to do, or what I typically do is I do a lot of gameplay videos. I need to make one for one of my train simulator videos right now. So let's go ahead and open up. And luckily I do have permission from the developers over at um, Rail Simulator to go ahead and use all their video game footage for my videos. Uh, that way I don't have any copyright problems or anything of that nature. So before you pick a picture, make sure that you do own rights for that particular photo. If you're not sure, it's best just to uh, make something up or come up with something of your own, whether it's a, a screenshot of the gameplay or something similar. So for this one, I want to go ahead and see if I can find it here. Take a screenshot from the video game of Train Simulator. And what I want to do is add my logo as well as a logo for the game and then maybe some text that stands out. So let's go ahead and get the logo on here first. And for this I have it in my logos folder. And I'll pull up this logo right here. Um, let's go ahead and also upload the logo for the game as well. So we can do both of these at the same time. And that's going to be right here. And here's the logo for Train Simulator 2014. So to get the logo, which is right here to this photo, fairly simple. You want to go ahead and click on the cursor button right here. And you're just going to drag it up here and drop it. So we have one issue, as you can see already, the logo is too big. So we're going to go ahead and while we're on this layer, which is layer one, and you can kind of see it moving around there, you want to just hit delete on the keyboard to go ahead and get that off. What we're going to have to do is go ahead and resize the image. So you go to image, image size, and make sure that you have constrained proportions on unless you don't want to constrain the proportions. And I'm going to drop this down to 1100 width and it's going to change my height to match what it currently is right now. So now I'm going to go ahead and drag this back over to the image here. And that's about right. Let's go ahead and leave the logo there. Now we want to get the Train Simulator 2014 logo on. I'm going to drop this over here. Obviously you can see it's too small so what we want to do is go back again, delete, and then we need to change the image size here. So let's go ahead and put this up to about a thousand and then we'll go ahead and drop it over like we just did. Uh, a little bit a little bit too big. What you can do, you can see the Train Simulator logo is on top of the other logo on top of the image. If you want to adjust which order the layers go in, you can just drag over here and drag this either up or down and see that's going to put the layer one on top which is the middle age gamer. Um, for this video though, I want to go ahead and reduce the Train Simulator logo just a bit. So we'll go ahead and do resize one more time. And let's do it at 900. See if that gives us enough room. Yep, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and make sure this layer is in front, which it is. I don't mind a little bit of overlap. I just don't want to go too far over. Now the last thing that we have to do is add in the text. And what you want to try to do, especially if YouTube, is have bright text or something that stands out very easily on a, a small thumbnail. So let's go ahead and select the text tool, which is right here. And I'll drag it over like that, try to make it as even as possible. And I'm using a custom font, which you can download free fonts on the internet if you Google for that. I'm using Bullpen 3D. And on this video, I'm going to go ahead and just put trains, make it pretty simple. And if you don't want yellow as the outline, you can go ahead and change that by clicking this right here. And you can go ahead and choose your co uh, color. So I'm going to go ahead and do the outline in red. Again, put in trains. And what we can do, once you have all the text in, the correct size, because if you need to correct the size, you can change the, the size right there. Or, you know, if it's to the left, center, to the right, etc. You can also curve the text and do a bunch of other stuff. But to move the text around once you have it written in, just go ahead and go back to the cursor. And again, this is just another layer, as you can see. 
and I'm just going to go ahead and put it right in the middle and down. And I'll tell you why I'm leaving gaps here in just a minute once we finish. Now the last thing I want to do is go ahead and fill in the lines or fill in the letters here with a different color. So I'm going to go ahead and select the paint bucket which is right here. Click on the photo and you want to go ahead and rasterize uh, before proceeding. So go ahead and hit OK. And let's go ahead and do yellow because yellow and red definitely stands out. Hit OK and then you're just going to click inside the letters. If for some reason this happens, you click on the letter by itself, it's going to change the actual outline. What you can do is just go to edit and then just step backwards or undo paint bucket either one and we can go ahead and finish there. Last but not least, uh, I did leave these two sections open at the top and bottom because YouTube is very notorious for cutting off the top and bottom of the image. So try to get your stuff to the center as much as possible. That way it doesn't cut it off for any reason. So what you typically want to do is you can go ahead and save this as a JPEG, a GIF, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do a JPEG in this case. And let's just call it Trains. Get that back. And you can select how big the file is. I believe YouTube has a maximum of 2.1 or 2.2 MB. Even at maximum, we're only at 1 MB, so we're, we have plenty of space and room. Let's go ahead and hit OK to save that. And let's pull up Google Chrome or whatever your browser is that you would typically use. And let's get into YouTube. As you can see, I'm signed into my account already, the Middle Age Gamer. Feel free to go ahead and subscribe to me if you haven't already. And I'm going to go to Video Manager here. And you want to go ahead and select the video um, that you want to change the thumbnail on. So typically when you upload your video, it's going to look something like this. You're just going to see a frame from your video or gameplay footage depending on what you're doing. Go ahead and click on Edit. And then all you do is click on Custom Thumbnail. Okay, and the maximum file size is 2 MB, not 2.1 or 2.2. Click on Custom Thumbnail and then go ahead and find your picture. So this would be trains in this case. You can go ahead and upload that. I'm not going to do it because it's not on the appropriate video obviously. But once you upload that or once you do that, when this comes up it should say save. Go ahead and save it and give the video about 5-10 minutes before it actually changes the initial thumbnail. But that will create more views than just having a picture of gameplay and wording. Uh, again, if you guys want to see any more tutorials on Photoshop or anything else, go ahead and let me know. Uh, please subscribe and go ahead and comment. Appreciate it and see you guys next time.